Hey guys, welcome to a uh, short little video here of uh, an MMO that I've been playing for a little bit now. Uh, I've been playing it for a little while. Oh, it looks like I haven't played it in a while, so uh, basically it's protection against um, what well, hackers and people trying to steal your account is that if you log in from a different IP than you did last time, you can't uh, mail stuff. You, and you can't use the marketplace for 10 minutes and uh, it's pretty smart pretty smart inconvenient for the moment but anyway uh, Vindictus is a free-to-play MMO and it's actually very very good I haven't played in a little bit because I've been busy recently but uh, I thought I'd show it to you guys because I did play it for a good amount of time and as I'm trying to decide what our next uh, LP series is going to be. Hey, the Christmas tree is gone. When I played around Christmas time, there's a gigantic Christmas tree here. It was all decorated. Uh, it was snowing, so they changed the atmosphere pretty frequently. They also decorated the entire thing for Halloween. Anyway, this is my person and her armor. Uh, she is a Fiona. That's her name and her class. One thing about this game is that all the classes are gender locked. This person here is an, an Eevee. She's an Eevee, which is a casting class. This person here is a Lan, which is a uh, dual wielding blade melee uh, com combatist. I am a Fiona, which is a blade and shield or hammer and shield, basically um, one handed and one shield fighter. I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm a tank and this person's a DPS. Uh, Fiona's can DPS pretty, pretty good themselves. Just a different type of DPS and I can of course take way more damage than him. And uh, so what I have here, one thing that I really like about the game is that uh, they have a pretty good variety of costumes and that's what girls like me like and, and guys too, don't get me wrong, guys are all about the clothes my old armor. Uh, I guess that's a close-up. I guess it's her hair and stuff. Apparently she didn't want to put her old clothes on. Okay. And, of course, they have some armor. That, most of the armor in this game can only be crafted by you. You can buy armor, some of it, but uh, it's pretty worthless. Basically, you have to craft all your own armor. And uh, there's some armor that you can craft that basically is only for looks. Somebody's talking to me? I don't know why they're talking to me. I don't know this person. Anyways, this is one of these armor sets that I... It's basically just... Um, it's just a matter of stating to other people that see you that you spend a lot of time on this game. Because it's very difficult to craft. It requires a lot of reagents. Sorry, dude. I'm a little bit busy right now. We'll just zone and get away from him. Um, here's the ability system, which is pretty cool. Uh, you learn abilities and you level them up using AP. You get AP by doing uh, missions. And um, I better use this because you can only store up to 100. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get the show on the road and I'd like to... Actually, I haven't decided what I'm going to show you yet, so I guess I'll just show you some more of um, some of the stuff in the game. Really good costumes. Really good, like, costumes. I mean, armor and stuff like that. Um, it There's a couple of things about the game uh, that aren't, aren't the greatest, but I think are worth playing it, such as the gender lock thing. Another thing is you only have two boxes to keep stuff in. The rest you have to pay for with actual money. They have a lot of things that are available for the game as incentive to pay for things. Like, um, it. what I like best about this game is that it's not that you have to, you know, open the wallet and dish out some money in order to enjoy the game, but you would enjoy it more if you did get the items that they offer uh, that, that you pay for. I, personally, have not bought a single thing. Not a single thing. Have not opened my wallet once for this game. And I'm enjoying it a lot. As you can see, I'm level 31. Um, and I got a decent amount of armor, and I make do, and uh, it's a really fun game. So, let's, uh, let's put my actual armor back on, and then I'm going to try to find maybe a dungeon or something to show you guys.
to demonstrate the combat, which is pretty unique for an MMO. Actually, very, very unique combat system for an MMO. Alright guys, so I've just joined a party to uh, do a mission called Dethrone the White Tyrant and thought I'd show you the staging system that this game has. It's like dungeons. They're like dungeons, except they're not. And that's that's about it. Actually, I don't have uh, spears on me, so... Do I have spears? No, I have mines. Equip the spears. So, uh, basically, when you have selected what mission or dungeon you want to do, it's not actually a dungeon, it's more like a level. And it's uh, it changes a little bit, time, uh, time after time. But the main boss at the end is... Um, is the same. That guy, he's beating the crap out of this little metal duck. Basically, this um, boat is where you wait to start, um, wait for more people to join you. So, uh, once we get this last person to hit the ready button, we'll be on our way. In the meantime, we're gonna beat the crap out of that duck. Oh, okay, good. So, we're heading out. And it does this, uh, it's neat, it's kind of cool, it was nice at first, but there's this little intro part where, oh, it goes through each person, and it shows who they are, and who your party mates are, and what they are. But we're not really interested in that at the moment, so we're going to skip through this. And that's me. Okay guys, we just spawned in the dungeon and I'm doing an emote because I hit a key that starts my video as well as performing an emote. And what I like about this game is that um, it can be very fast paced. Very fast paced. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that look, look, it's awesome combat, isn't it? I'm a little bit worried that it's too loud right now. But you guys are just going to have to bear with it, I think. Sorry. I, I did turn it down a bit, but I'm not sure how, how much damage or uh, how much damage. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Some people want to move along, you can by if they like, and they want to, so we're going to. Alright, so um, I had a little bit of trouble with the video right there. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so here we are spawning for the main boss now. Usually, the main boss is not after just simply one area. It's after probably like four or five areas. And uh, But this one, since it's a huge boss, is basically the ending boss for this whole area. This um, zone, I guess you might want to call it that we're in is called the um, oh, Horfrost Hollows and they are a bunch of pansies so they want to they want to buff up. Let's see, how do I buff up? Hmm. Well, I don't need a buff. Forget that. Well, we have to wait till they're till they're done. Okay, it looks like they're ready, so we're going to start the battle. We got some goblins or I'm not sure what those are. Gnolls, goblins, goblins. Goblins are just chilling there. Hey, you crashing the party, huh? I don't think so. And he's gonna come after us. And we need to dispatch of them very quickly. But oh no, wait, what is this? Oh no! Something even worse is crashing the party. Oh, and you just got eaten, dude. Eaten. Oh my! Terrifying, I know. This guy is, uh. I haven't played in a while. I can do Heavy Stander, which is a very, very massive. Ooh! Massive blocking attack, which only Fiona can do. Ooh, yikes. It takes a ton of my endurance away. However. Ooh! However, um. I think it's definitely worth it, uh, as opposed to dying. Okay, it looks like they're going for the eye. We have these spears. Secondary weapons are common. You have a couple of secondary weapons that you can choose from. This one is spear. And there's a little prize that if you if you manage to spear this guy in his red eye, what is it, three times, I think? 
um, then you will actually get a special item that's worth a decent amount. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. Forgot to mention to you guys that I'm actually performing these actions um, using my mouse. Using my keyboard, WASD, for direction, um, for movement, of course, which is typical. But then, something that's not very typical with MMOs is that I'm actually using, um, my mouse, just a combination of left and right clicking, to, uh, do the different attacks. Ouch, I just took my face, apparently. Let's do my heavy attack. Ready? Ready? Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh, power it up! Go! Boom. That actually hit him. Oh, Eevees. Oh, that's right. I can block you. I'm not afraid. Ooh, if I block at just the right time. Ooh, and I did not block at just the right time. That's okay. Whoops. Maybe it's not okay. Ah! And he thrashes around like a lot. He really does thrash around. <laughs> right in the butt. Take that. Okay, maybe I'll heal. I suppose. And there's a boss like this at the end of every, uh, at the end of every, they call it boat. Because you take a boat, get here. Oh, I should have known he was going to do that. I fought this guy in a time. Ouch. And my armor just broke. Kind of a cool thing is that it actually looks like broken. It looks like it's all shredded up and everything. Somebody just got him in the eye, which is nice. Ooh, okay, well that was lucky because I took him down with that low. If I hadn't, he would have probably hit me pretty hard. Ouch. Block that just barely. I'll take another potion, I suppose. Oh, they wanna they wanna kill him with kicks. Alright, they wanna kill him with kicks. Another cool thing is they do the snapshot at the very end where it'll pause the moment that you kill him, and it'll do this kind of cinematic type of hey, look at how epic everyone looks. Which is pretty neat. Usually he doesn't take well, sometimes he takes this much time to take down. If you have a good group with high level people, like around mine, uh, my level, he will, uh, he will go down much, much, much faster. I'm not gonna worry about the loot because I don't need it. Anyways guys, that was just kind of a, um, a video I want to make showing you of, uh, free MMO Vindictus, and, uh, and just kind of like something in the meantime while I, while I debate and, and worry and ponder about what I'm actually going to do for my next Let's Play series. Um, so, anyways guys, I will see you next time. This has been Rose. Goodbye.